Also tonight, families of victims in a deadly double shooting see the justice they've been waiting years for. And this is a case we've been following since that gunfire on New Year's Eve of 2013. Today, Jordan Charity pleaded guilty to some of the charges in the killings of Donovan Walker Jr. and Kenneth Wilson. Charity was 16 years old at the time. Then your side's Brandy Cummings now with a look at the long and winding road to this conclusion. Brandy. Well, guys, this case was delayed in part because the Commonwealth was awaiting a ruling by Virginia's highest court on sentencing for juveniles. But today, the family is saying they're pleased about this plea deal. Although this case far from over, they're calling it a sigh of relief. Been real hard, rough. A difficult four years. Kenneth Wilson says his son, they called him Jake, was planning to be an electrician. He and his friend Donovan Walker had just signed a lease to be roommates. But on New Year's Eve 2013, all plans changed. The friends had an argument with this man, Jordan Charity. At the time, he was 16 years old. Prosecutors say that disagreement over bike parts led to murder. And then the bicycle led into. That boy decided to do the wrong thing. It's no question he thought about it, and it's no question he planned to do it. Hampton Commonwealth attorney Anton Bell said Charity took a shotgun to a skate park planning to kill. A methodical move, he says. Jordan Charity's chilling statements after his arrest appear to confirm that. The one statement that was of particular interest is it was fun. And then he said, not the murder, but the car chase. Bell says Charity shot Walker three times, Wilson twice, at one point even standing over the men and shooting them at close range, then taking off in a moped, carjacking a woman, then leading police on a chase. In court Tuesday, Charity admitted to the murders, pleading guilty to two counts of first-degree murder and two counts of using a gun during a felony. In exchange, four other charges were withdrawn, a resolution bringing some closure just one week before the trial was set to begin. There's really not enough time the boy could do to pay for what he's done, the lives that he's taken, and the families that he's hurt. And Jordan Charity will be sentenced November 29th this year. The Commonwealth planning to ask for the maximum sentence. Live in Hampton, I'm Brandy Cummings, 10 on your side. And you can see all of our previous coverage of this story right now on wavy.com.